Sunday. Okay, this is May 20th, Sunday morning. Oh my goodness. And once again, Seth B. Hoover is not ready. But we are on our way to our first service in Moore, Oklahoma. Yeah, kind of dreary day today. Kind of it's been kind of raining and stuff. Yeah. I don't know what your problem is. Rain last night, yeah. the smell of fresh rain this morning, six donuts, a pint of milk, and a cup of coffee. It's going to be a lovely day. Something's gonna be lovely today. <laughs> and he's the one that's preaching this morning. <laughs> anyway, I told him he said uh, he said he's feeling pretty good. I told him he's probably gonna puke while he's preaching. But he said he's just got a lot of energy to burn off. Yeah, and by the way, guys, for all our viewers out there, if you saw me looking down yesterday at my phone, I was looking at my GPS. Somebody brought that to my attention, and so I want you guys know we keep both hands on the wheel while we're driving. Except for when you wave. Except for when I wave, <laughs> and. Uh, we don't text and drive. That's, I mean, that's safety first. Brother Miles and Brother Alex have told us that we must keep safety a priority. So. And I want you to notice, while while Mr. Brandon is driving, look how his his uh, posture is while he's driving. Uh, he checked the uh, the mirrors. Yes, the yes. hands. Yes. He checked the mirrors multiple times to make ten sure. And two. Ten and two, man. Ten, ten and two. two. Ten right and there. two, right there. Ten See and the? two. Ten and two on the steering wheel. All yeah. right. But for today's subject, um, you can stop looking at me now. okay. For today's subject, let's let's talk about um, let's talk about our girlfriends for a moment. Oh, so brother Brandon, do you, do you miss Sister Ashley? Oh man, I do. I miss her bad. What's what's one thing you really like about Ashley? <laughs> Long pause. Well. Brother Seth, our, our our new our new guest into the Taken community, um, you and Sister Anna, you guys you guys are just <laughs> you guys are just now starting to date. But what's something you really appreciate about her and you like? One thing that I can say that I definitely appreciate about my girlfriend is that she prays, and I know that she's praying for me today as I oh. get ready to step up to the first big sermon of the summer, and. Uh, she really is just an awesome girl. Oh, that's to you, Anna Crafton. Um, Nana, I know you watched us last night. I'm just gonna say I love you. And uh, one thing, uh, thank you. Seth. One thing I appreciate about you is uh, how good you've been to me when I haven't been the best boyfriend to you. Oh. Hey, Amen. And, I, and I, I love you dearly. Beautiful, isn't it? I, I got a little tear welled up in my eye right now. Anyway, uh, we are on our way to uh, service, and we are going to prepare our minds for Norman, Oklahoma. We're going to prepare our minds for the Lord. So this is the OBI Summer Group uh, signing, signing out signing until out. later. Signing Amen. Out. We'll Bye. see you at lunch. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what. There's some times in this life where I know that it seems like it's hard and there's going to be nothing getting through. And I know that there's some times where it seems like nobody in this world could pull you through what you're going through. Yeah. And you know that God's made you promises. But you say, I just don't see how he can deliver. But I'm here to tell you, Jesus was that forerunner. I remember a time when I was down and out in sin. And I thought that there was no way I could ever get back to God. But then all of a sudden, I saw Jesus going out before me. And he tied me up and kept me. He said, you're not going any further out. But as, as the tide rose, where, you know, a lot of times people think that the tide rising is a bad thing. Because it makes it more yeah. treacherous. It's, it's scarier. The waters are deeper. It's easier to drown. But with me, when the tide rose, all of a sudden it started bringing me closer to God because I had to depend on Him more. Yeah. Even as that ship depended on that rope that would be tied off to that sturdy object, I had to depend on Christ because I knew that He'd gone before me. I knew that He prepared the way. Yes. And when I, I saw that gulf of sin and I looked out and I said, there's no way that I can pass it and there's no way I can get through it. And then I saw that Jesus had gone before me, that He prepared a way, that He prepared a place for me and when sin began to come and knock at my door I said I don't have to worry about it because Jesus has already prepared the way Amen. Jesus the forerunner 
Oh, I'm talking about some insurance today. I don't know if you're hearing me right now or if you're understanding, but I'm happy right now because I can talk about Jesus and know that he's faithful. I can talk about Jesus and know that he's true. I can talk about Jesus and know that he's gone before me and that he's prepared the way. Right.
So if you're having fun. This is the third time. All provided. Look, look at Ashley. Look, Ashley. Get fat. Here's <laughs> Lee.